Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathways programs. Today's program is anaphylaxis and allergy treatment. You can use this as a guide to learning more about life-threatening allergic reactions. In our Anaphylaxis 101 program, we explored the question, what is anaphylaxis? You may remember that anaphylaxis is a severe, life-threatening allergic reaction to food, insect venom, medication, latex, or another allergen. Symptoms typically involve more than one organ system and can include itching, redness, swelling and hives on the skin, itching and swelling of the lips and tongue, vomiting, diarrhea and cramps, shortness of breath, wheezing, coughing, chest pain or tightness, weak pulse, dizziness or faintness, a headache, nasal congestion, watery eyes, sweating, confusion, or a feeling of impending doom and possibly a loss of consciousness. Anaphylaxis must be treated immediately, and that means that the life-saving medication must be given without delay. Some people experience a mild allergic reaction, and that may include hives, itching, nasal congestion, along with red itchy eyes and a rash. A mild reaction is usually centered on one body system, and that is often the skin. This kind of allergic reaction may be treated with an over-the-counter medication. There are many antihistamines available to treat a reaction with these mild symptoms. Anaphylaxis is a very different type of response. This reaction is severe and life-threatening. Anaphylaxis affects more than one major body system, and it often progresses quickly. That's why it needs to be treated immediately. And the medication of choice for anaphylaxis is epinephrine. Epinephrine is the only drug that will reverse anaphylaxis and should be given as soon as symptoms appear. Any delay will greatly increase your chance of having to stay in the hospital and fatal reactions often occur with either waiting too long to use epinephrine or not using it at all. How does epinephrine work? Epinephrine increases your heart rate and blood pressure, relaxes muscles in your airway, reverses swelling, and suppresses your immune system's response to allergens. And all of this temporarily halts the life-threatening effects of an anaphylactic reaction. There is no medical reason not to give epinephrine. Epinephrine is the only treatment for anaphylaxis. There is no alternative. Epinephrine comes in an auto-injector that contains a pre-measured dose of epinephrine. These auto-injectors are designed for anyone to use, you don't need to be a medical person to be able to give epinephrine using an auto-injector. It's important to follow a few instructions so that your epinephrine auto-injector is ready to help you in an emergency. Store your epinephrine auto-injector as close to room temperature as possible. Leaving it in extremely hot or cold temperatures make the epinephrine ineffective and could cause the injector to malfunction. Do not store them in your car or in a refrigerator. This can also make the epinephrine ineffective. Check your device regularly to be sure the liquid inside is clear and ready to use. Epinephrine auto injectors have an expiration date and they should be replaced as soon as they expire. If all you have is an outdated auto injector, you can use it in an emergency as it may provide some benefit. Check the date on your device regularly and have a backup auto injector available. It's important to keep your epinephrine auto-injector close to you. In an emergency, you may need it within minutes. If you have used your epinephrine auto-injector for an anaphylactic reaction, you should call an ambulance and go to the emergency room for evaluation. Even if your symptoms seem to improve, you may be at risk for a secondary or biphasic reaction that will need additional treatment. It's also important to know what to expect when calling an ambulance. The 911 personnel will ask you several questions when you call. The things you need to know are the address where the patient is. Be as clear as you can when giving an address or location. You want to avoid having the emergency medical personnel looking for you and then treatment will be delayed. They will need your name and phone number in case they need to call you back. They'll want to know the age of the patient and what happened. They're going to want to know the time when symptoms first appeared and what time the dose of epinephrine was given. It's important to tell them if a second dose of epinephrine 
was also given. When you get to the emergency room, be sure to share as many details as possible about the incident that may have caused the allergic reaction. Tell them when epinephrine was given and bring the used auto injector with you so they can see the dosage that was given and dispose of that properly for you. Be sure the hospital personnel answer all of your questions before you head home and if appropriate, provide you with a prescription for epinephrine and instructions for using it. Seconds matter when it comes to anaphylaxis. It's important to always be prepared Make sure you have your epinephrine auto ejector with you and that it's ready to use everywhere, every day. It's important to know that all 50 states in the United States allow students to carry and self-administer their epinephrine if the parent, doctor, and school nurse all agree that they are mature enough to do so. Many states allow schools and public places to stock an epinephrine auto injector. Many restaurants, daycares, sports arenas, and theme parks are prepared to assist you in an emergency situation. Our key messages for today are that anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction that can be life-threatening and it must be treated immediately. Epinephrine is the only drug that will reverse anaphylaxis and it should be given as soon as symptoms appear. You want to keep your epinephrine auto injector close to you at all times and avoid storing it in direct sunlight or extreme hot or cold. If you've needed to have an epinephrine auto injector administered due to anaphylaxis, you need to go to the emergency room for evaluation. Allergy and Asthma Network has some important resources for you to use when thinking about anaphylaxis. Look for the link on the Patient Learning Pathways page and click on the anaphylaxis resource list. There you will find our Understanding Anaphylaxis Guide, as well as a link to an article about food allergy anaphylaxis. You'll also find a link to our popular Ask the Allergist feature with more information about epinephrine and antihistamines. You can also find information on how to use an epinephrine auto injector. Thank you for joining us today for anaphylaxis and allergy treatments. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research. Please join us for another Patient Learning Pathway presentation as we partner with you to breathe better together.